I now give the floor to Mr. Zahid Tanin. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. President. Mr. President, Excellencies, uh, before I offer my remarks on the situation in Kosovo, I would like to convey my profound sadness on the passing of Ambassador Vitaly Churkin of the Russian Federation. I express my sincere condolences to his wife, his family, and the government of the Russian Federation on having lost one of the country's greatest diplomats. We will miss him in this council. Mr. President, as noted uh, in the report of uh, the Secretary General, the past months uh, have been characterized by inconsistent progress and moreover by heightened tension between Belgrade and Pristina, including a reciprocal series of reaction and counter reactions accompanied at times by threatening and bellicose rhetoric. The events in uh, political posturing reduces space for progress within the top level political dialogue, a process that remains as fragile as it is essential and irreplaceable. During my recent uh, discussions uh, in Pristina and Belgrade, each side naturally expressed differing perceptions of the reasons behind the reduced quality of communication and relations and in general accused one another of having engaged in intentional provocations. Pristina leaders perceive various actions in words from Belgrade as being calculated to undermine the objectives of the Pristina government, particularly as regards its uh, outreach efforts towards the northern Serb majority municipalities. Belgrade leaders perceive the actions in words from Pristina as attempts to sidestep processes uh, based in the EU-facilitated dialogue and create new realities on the ground. Irrespective uh, of the divergent uh, perceptions and interpretations, the facts were that a succession of events detailed in the Secretary General's report combined to undermine trust, to inhibit the space for productive dialogue, and to push the situation uncomfortably close to renewed instability and confrontation. I should note that since the issuance of the report, several other significant developments have taken place, including some more constructive ones. At the beginning of this month, partially as a response to an uh, escalating situation, Belgrade and Pristina leaders finally met at the highest uh, political level in Brussels, under the auspices of the European Union High Level Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy. This meeting was an essential step to chart a path out of a deteriorating situation and to publicly confirm their commitment to work together. A few days later, after close consultations led by the EU Special uh, Representative in involving various other diplomatic partners, the Mayor of uh, North Metrovica and uh, the Minister of Environment and Spatial Planning of Kosovo signed a, an agreement to remove the wall which uh, previously had been constructed as a part of the bridge development plan near to the northern end of the Metrovica Bridge. It was removed without incident on 5th February. The construction has uh, subsequently begun on a newly agreed uh, uh, park space uh, plan, which addresses the concerns of all stakeholders. Most recently, Pristina has renewed calls for transformation of the Kosovo security forces into Kosovo armed forces, including the passage of a Kosovo assembly resolution. The initiative remained opposed uh, by the Kosovo Serbs in Belgrade with reference to Resolution 1244, emphasizing the exclusive role and authorities of the international security presence, K4. Mr. President, in the short term, the effects of the recent stresses in Kosovo still reverberate. Trust and confidence among Kosovo Serbs and Albanians have been affected. It will take time to rebuild. Nonetheless, with the uh, restarting of the top-level dialogue, 
there are signs that works is, work is again happening towards this goal. Discussing uh, details of implementing the future community association of uh, Serb majority municipalities will uh, certainly help the Kosovo Serb Serbs to re-engage with the, the range of government activities from which they have unfortunately removed themselves over the past three months. As seen in, in the past, one-sided approaches or steps aimed at uh, resolving issues that affect both sides and indeed overall progress in the normalization process are more likely to lead to confrontation than to positive results in the direction desired by those who contemplate such steps. There is no alternative to dialogue. The international prescriptions set forth to Pristina and Belgrade are categorical imperatives. Non-confrontation, resolving issues through dialogue, and placing the objective uh, improvement of the lives of people ahead of more limited and uh, uh, parochial calculations. I hope this council will help to hold leaders to their words that they will maintain a sincere and consistent commitment uh, to dialogue uh, to the full implementation of all the agreements already reached and to avoid making statements or undertaking activities that, that undermine its potential and put at risk all the benefits it is designed to bring to the population, security, prosperity, and peace. Mr. President, Kosovo's institutions continue to face daunting challenges to deliver as their leaders might wish. Political infighting persists. Disputes between the government and oppositions remain uh, acrimonious. Dispute, disputes between governing parties are also visible, as is uh, dissent with governing parties. Major stakeholders feel pressure to position themselves for the electoral cycles. Too often at the expense uh, of time and energy that can be devoted to governance. Belgrade is also engaging, engaged in a political campaign surrounding the presidential election in April. It is paramount to ensure electoral politics do not disrupt vital processes and progress, the kind of progress that is only built up with sustained time and effort beyond the fluctuations of uh, uh, political seasons. Normalization of relations, reconciliation, injustice, all belong to, the, to that broader horizon. Success in the normalization of relations between Belgrade and Pristina is interlinked with the long-term and sustainable societal reconciliation among Kosovo communities. Courageous le leadership and positive actions are important to promote changes in attitudes. We recognize and appreciate a number of significant steps taken by some uh, leaders and encourage more sustained efforts to move beyond the past to focus on the future. Along with uh, all my international colleagues in Kosovo, I took careful note of the recently announced initiative to explore the establishment of a Truth and Reconciliation Commission as one additional mechanism to open internal dialogue between the communities in Kosovo. Any such initiative uh, should be uh, lauded and given as much support as needed to encourage success. It's also important to recall that such initiatives are parts of a greater whole. The EU-facilitated dialogue itself is also one part as is the serious work underway to, pro, uh, to provide for the many victims of the conflict in Kosovo who still await justice. Among the most essential international uh, principles and practices for conducting truth and reconciliation processes in post-conflict settings are impartiality, independence, transparency, complementarity with other efforts, full consultations and participation by all stakeholders involved, and ultimately, commitment to the due diligence and care required for such a sensitive process. Mr. President, concentrated work needs to continue in order to improve the social, 
and economic situation in Kosovo. Addressing unemployment, making progress in the rule of law, and fighting corruption uh, remain central to all people in Kosovo. People who find little hope for uh, prospects within the society experience frustration and isolation. Many will uh, gravitate to alternative paths, including uh, those leading to religious radicalization and violent extremism. As noted in the Secretary General's report, the threat of violent extremism and terrorism remains real in Kosovo and throughout the region. Professional work by Kosovo's security bodies continue, while better integration into regional and international approaches can greatly leverage these efforts. Through the current five-year plan coordinated by the Office of the Prime Minister, the authorities of Kosovo are also focusing on a holistic approach to the issue, including in educational and development spheres. This important work can also benefit from strong support and coordination with global efforts. Mr. President, coordinated responses and engagement during the recent period of increased tensions notably involving the EU, K4, UNMIC, and OEC, among others, once again confirmed the importance of the ongoing international engagement in the maintenance of peace and stability in Kosovo and, it, and, and the region. Stability in Kosovo, normalization of relations between Pristina and Belgrade are part of the wider effort to improve stability in the Western Balkans. Last week in this council, the Secretary General highlighted the danger of instability in the Western Balkans region. Any uh, tension or potential crisis between Bel Belgrade and Pristina cannot be seen in isolation from the challenges that the region already faces. Good neighborly relations, dedication to a common future within a, a united European space, a commitment to human rights and the rule of law, and resolving disputes only through the peaceful means of dialogue and compromises and compromise are essential for Kosovo as they are for the entire region. As I have been reporting to you over the past months, UNMIC has brought a newly calibrated focus to its work, providing applicable support where it's most suited and working to ensure that the parties, the EU-centered political process, and all our international organizational partners benefit from well-coordinated and uh, consonant partnership on the ground. And so doing, we are grateful for the close support we receive from all members of this council. I thank the council most sincerely for the ongoing support. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank Mr. Tanin for his briefing.